In this video, I'm going to be showing how to make a grow light out of a whole bunch of LED Christmas lights. Normally, it would be more expensive to buy LED Christmas lights than to just buy a regular LED bulb, but I got all of these for free, so I'm going to make them into a grow light. I've already used rubber bands to bundle the bulbs together so that they all point in the same direction. This took me about five minutes for each set of lights. I decided that I'm going to support the lights by using an aluminum bar and just ramming it straight through the looped bits of wire on the other side of the lights. And that way the lights just hang freely from the bar. I ram the aluminum bars through the strings of lights trying to keep them balanced so that they wouldn't lean to one side on the bar. And I also put bits of duct tape on the end of the bar so that I wouldn't scratch the wires as I'm pushing it through. I cut the rest of the wood and I just skipped over all of that because it's boring. Now I'm gonna screw all of it together and skip over that too since screws are also boring. I assembled the frame and added in the lights and it's basically done. Now the final thing I want to do is to add aluminum foil around the outside so that it should reflect in more of the light and it's not wasting any light. I have a photoresistor set up so that I can get a number for the amount of light there is. Right now there's 680 ohms, which is just going to be a relative amount, and then a lower amount of ohms would be more light. So I'm going to put up the aluminum foil, keep the photoresistor in the exact same spot, and see if the number changes. I constructed aluminum foil walls on the grow chamber, and you can see that the resistance has decreased by about a factor of 70 ohms which is definitely significant. This is the final build right here. I didn't put foil on the top since it's probably not that much light going out. And it's pretty bright in there. I'm gonna use this for growing some different small plants. I have some Mimosa pudica, which is the sensitive plant Right now it's already closed up, but you can still kind of poke it and it falls down. Thanks for watching.